the first documented case of an individual spontaneously recovering from an apparent state of death following cardiopulmonary resuscitation found its place in the prestigious Lancet Medical Journal in 1982. The phenomenon was coined auto-resuscitation. Eleven years later, in 1993, Professor Jack G. Bray reinvented the term, calling it the Lazarus Phenomenon. Professor Bray named the phenomenon after Lazarus of Bethany. In the Gospel of John, chapter 11, Lazarus, who was a close associate of Jesus, fell seriously ill and died. Upon reaching Bethany, Jesus discovered that Lazarus had been dead for four days. Undeterred by the despairing witnesses, which included Martha and Mary, who were mourning the loss of their brother Lazarus, Jesus, with divine intervention, summoned Lazarus from his stone tomb. The American Journal of Emergency Medicine, drawing on multiple studies spanning from 1982 to 2024, reports a total of 76 documented cases of the Lazarus phenomenon across 27 countries. This comprehensive analysis encompasses a wide range of ages, from 9 months to 97 years, and resuscitation durations from 6 minutes to 90 minutes. The median time from CPUR termination to auto-resuscitation being identified as 5 minutes. The outcomes reveal a 77.61% mortality rate with 14.47% achieving intact neurological recovery. Patients with respiratory comorbidities exhibited a higher mortality rate while between 18 and 24 patients defied the odds, surviving the ordeal. The term Lazarus phenomenon can be somewhat misleading within the realm of medical auto-resuscitation. Contrary to its biblical connotations, individuals experiencing this phenomenon do not actually die and resurrect. Instead, their vital signs suggest organ failure, while a delay in blood flow return post CPR creates the illusion of death and subsequent revival. This nuanced understanding underscores the need for precise terminology in articulating the intricacies of the Lazarus phenomenon in medical discourse.